Their names and faces are almost forgotten, but a century after they first met at Wynne's Hotel, today Cum and Naman were remembered. Its members were in most of the outposts for the 1916 Rising. Nurses, couriers, gun runners, among them Nora Connolly O'Brien. You made uh, breakfast for the leaders on Easter Sunday morning. I did. I had that rare privilege and I'll never forget it. Also in their ranks, Elizabeth O'Farrell, who negotiated the surrender of Porrick Pierce. She is in this photograph of the surrender, but only her feet are visible. She said that she willingly stepped back into the shadow of Pierce so as not to give any satisfaction to the British. She always regretted not having stood beside Pierce. Those feet have been removed from the photograph many times and in a way you could see it as uh, symbolic of the removal of or the invisibilising of the role women played in nationalism. Here in Kilmainham Jail, the logo of Cumann Amon still hangs over one of the cell doors. Over 80 women prisoners were held here during 1916 and over 500 during the Civil War. Many were in Cumann Amon. Including Countess Markovich, elected its president after her arrest in 1916. But thousands of others did not become as well known. And they kept their stories to themselves. And these are the stories we're trying to bring back to life now and to show they made such an important contribution. A contribution which will be remembered over the next few days. Helen Donoghue, RTE News.